Good morning, 47. We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the Shadow Climate. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA Board of Directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst. And finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. security station watching the feeds, there's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage. He wears like a 3D printed mask. Oh yeah, that must be Berg. Oh yeah, man, his interrogation... Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. Fascinating. According to the blueprint, Sean Rose is building an explosive battery unit for a Link 4 smartwatch. The charge appears to be email triggered. The unassuming target checks his messages, the virus triggers the charge, this and the boom. Ever evil That's clever, ops not to mention devious. The resident hackers have installed the software trigger on one of their phones, and here is the punchline. Rose himself wears a Link 4. This Saturday, don't miss it. Baptism by fire, man. Taking forever. <laughs> You're telling me. We need to get this car ready for shipping to Mexico. That could be a while, you know. So what's the 
What's this I hear about a training accident? That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's point man in the Mexico operation. Huh, got clipped by a ram or something? A battering ram has injured one of the strike team, the team point man by the name of Burgess. And according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties. Is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate, well, turned well, insurgent. Well, very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride. That's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Rose, Parvati, the point man is back in action. this by heart but in case amnesia has set in here's the sequence advance to the car with haste eliminate the passengers retrieve the briefcase extract got that and remember speed and accuracy is the name of the game all right now go pick up your weapons and get in position move out
That is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. Nicely done, 47. Parvati won't know what hit her. Speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. You need to be able to pull this off sleeping. Passable. Your point man was spectacular. He'd make it. Hey! <laughs> Nicely done, 47. Two flies with one swat. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. That's a lucky shot, man. Do it. Hey, bro. Oh, you're back. Great. So, ah! listen, I've been thinking maybe the dosage is just wrong. I appreciate your enthusiasm. I checked the dosage. It was the first thing I gave. Exactly what I want to do with my day. That is Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. Did one of you guys forget a weapon over there? This is what happens when you use cheap ass spare parts instead of original parts. Let me do my magic. Okay, so this goes to that, and that goes to this. Up and running again, thanks to me. I suppose it wouldn't hurt anything from anybody else. Over. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, Francis. So this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive to me. She's got it coming. And nobody could switch sides like Graves and just expect to be accepted and test her in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit, and it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might I suggest a last-minute recasting, 47? Set for the sting? Sure. Put a badge in my pocket, prep my lines, shoot me problem. Oh shit. What a waste of time. What?
That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. We need to talk. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. Uh, what is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. <sighs> and what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. Okay, can you just leave me alone for a few minutes? I've got some thinking to do. I'm sure Rose won't mind. of Lyon under assumed name. Passport provided through Delgado and that Vanisher guy. Make it look clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. The burner phone was dropped before I left the flight. It can't possibly be that. Diplomatic car out of Denver. Huh? <laughs> That's all targets taken care of, 47. Now gain access to the tornado shelter. Good. Oh, did 
I tell you? I found something. Plot thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting close. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg, Ether, and that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. something. So it is. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Player? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It wasn't me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man, you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. A warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives. 
only by ending them. Better than anyone.